not ballroom, ballroom. This form of dance has impacted people for centuries and is loved by many for its fun and social nature. The name ballroom, indicating the room in which people danced, originates from the Latin word ballera, which means to dance. Ballroom dancing has been around ever since the Renaissance era. At first, ballroom dancing was segregated between the royals and commoners, but as boundaries between high and low classes began to disappear, people danced all across Europe throughout its history. Ballroom, when it first started, was um, it started with like Renaissance era, if you want to take it that far back, was when the partner dancing started. Uh, there was lots of space, very little connection, and then the waltz came out. And the waltz had, um, it has near full body contact, you're connected from your hips down to your thigh, and that was very controversial at the time. And it's um, expanded since then. Um, we have all the Latin dance. The dance that left its most significant mark on the Victorian era was the waltz. Its popularity also spawned the creation of many other new types of dances. The Paso Doble is a Spanish dance, but like the French gave it to them as well, the names are in French kind of thing, or the tango was originally from a bar like setting where people were dancing around circular tables and that's why you step in such a way. I don't know, it kind of just comes up from people just dancing in their in their communities and their cultures and it became more of a thing like um, samba versus rumba and then you have the walls and how different they are, just like the culture that they're from. The 20th century was truly the birthplace of modern dance, which was fast and energetic, such as the mambo, charleston, and swing. They all featured more independent movement of the dancers instead of full body contact. It is a commonly disputed fact whether ballroom is a sport. The Oxford Living Dictionary defines sport as an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. Not all ballroom involves competition, but when it does, it is referred to as dance sport, and by this definition, it is unquestionably. Would you consider ballroom dance a sport? Why? Sure, it takes skill, and <clears throat> when you spend time at it, you get better, and you can compete with it. I've often thought that I that it should be because it can be such an athletic event or activity, um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it can be nice and relaxing, but when you're really working at it, it is exhausting, physically, demanding physically. Um, so yes and no, I guess, I would say. Yes, if you're doing it actively, regularly, often, like some people I know, like I used to, you know. No, if you don't do it a lot. See, this is where my dancer side comes in. I don't believe that ballroom is a sport. Um, however, I do believe that ballroom dancers are athletes. Um, they work hard, they train hard, just like an athlete does. Uh, They're extremely physically fit, uh, for the most part, just like any other athletic um, grouping, um, or, or athletes, I guess. Um, but I think ballroom is more artistic than sport. Sport has strict rules, strict guidelines, uh, whereas arts, they have a strict base and you build artistically off of that base. So that's why I would c categorize ballroom as an art rather than a sport. While competitive dancing can be expensive, there are many benefits to the game. Dancing is fun, and learning how to do it <coughs> is very satisfying. And you can execute a pattern or a step and then build on it. Just very enjoyable because of the challenge spread it, teach it, experience it with other people. Well, in my classes specifically, we're all really good friends because we're literally in each other's faces and arms all day, the whole class. So that's really fun. Um, I'd say it also like, teaches hard work and discipline and attention to detail. And it's fun. Like It's a fun activity. It's a fun class. It makes going to school really exciting have this fun little community of friends that are all part of your dance world because you're just together all the time and it's so fun. The 
biggest benefits from ballroom that I see on a consistent basis, uh, both as a dancer and as a coach, is confidence. Um, I see kids all the time. Um, well, I'll take one for example. I had a student um, a couple years ago. He auditioned for our team and sadly didn't make it on. Um, but we re-held auditions because we were looking for a few more boys. So we told all the boys who didn't make it, you know, go learn over the summer. We'll hold a second bout of auditions after. And um, he came back to those second auditions and made the team. And just to see him grow and blossom as he learned how to interact with other, with his peers, with leaders, with um, girls, really, um, it boosted his confidence a ton. He went from being one of those you could tell was just a shy, picked on, teased kid in elementary school, and by the time he graduated, he probably had one of the biggest heads on my team. So it's really interesting to see kids blossom as they learn those communication skills.